Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, the introductory session of our program, Glow Your Skin and Hair uh, Naturally. I'm uh, Anchal from Team WellCure. Uh, many of you are aware uh, about WellCure, but for the benefit of others, let me quickly uh, say a few words about what WellCure is. We are an online platform for uh, natural healing. Uh, we believe that the body heals itself with the right inputs, and that is what uh, WellCure is uh, dedicated towards. So we have uh, on our website and on our app, we have articles about natural healing, uh, real life experiences of people on how they overcame uh, disease by following nature cure. Uh, we have a recipe section where we uh, share a lot of whole plant-based food recipes. We have a Q&A section where you can come and ask any questions that you may have regarding your health. And we also do a lot of uh, workshops and personalized coaching programs. So in today's uh, session, the agenda is to meet the expert of the program. So I'll introduce uh, you to her shortly. We will uh, have the opportunity to understand beauty from nature's perspective through her. And towards the end of the session, I'll also share with you uh, how this program will be conducted. One moment. Give me a minute, I just have to correct this setting on my computer. Okay, okay. So uh, all of us use cosmetic products. It's a huge uh, industry and it's a growing industry. It's growing at five and a half percent every year. And the skin and hair care cosmetics have a major share uh, in the cosmetic industry. And every now and then, you know, there are new brands of lotions, creams, serums, deodorants, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that are launched uh, in the market. And we keep trying them out one after the other. Um, however, the, the dichotomy is that skin and hair related issues are on the rise. So on one hand, we have these uh, increase in brands, but at the same time, we have an increase uh, in skin and hair uh, issues. And we all struggle with, uh, you know, so many uh, issues. Um, it could be premature graying hair, thin hair, uh, dark circles, premature wrinkling hair dandruff, hair dryness, uh, bigger skin issues such as eczema, acne, moles, psoriasis. And we are always worried whether we have to use a herbal product or a normal product. Should we use oil? Should we use serum? Should we use cream? Should we use lotion? Uh, should we use moisturizer? Should we use face pack, uh, soap or body wash? Which brand? I mean, there is so much confusion uh, about which beauty product to use and how to overcome um, these beauty issues that we struggle with. So here we have today with us uh, Smita, who's going to take us on this journey of how we can uh, glow our skin and hair naturally. Uh, Smita is a nature cure educator. She's a lifestyle coach. She's very passionate about uh, living a healthy life and helping other people on their uh, health journeys as well as spiritual journeys. She also makes her own products at home for her own beauty care and also for home cleaning. So Smita, thank you uh, very much for joining us uh, here today. And uh, maybe you could begin by sharing how you went on this path, uh, how you overcame your own uh, skin issues. Thank you, Anjal. It's a privilege to be here among all of you today. So I was suffering uh, respiratory allergies till my late 20s, uh, chronic urticaria with skin breaking out with hives, asphyxations, inflammation on my hands, legs, even till late 30s, uh, early 30s actually. Then I was also overweight because of my life-threatening symptoms and unable to find any long-term uh, relief in any of these uh, systems of medication like anyone today, I switched to natural healing 
uh, not only did I lose weight slowly and naturally, I also reversed all my skin issues along with life-threatening symptoms and allergies. Uh, and also saw many more subtle improvements like, let's say, heightened energy levels, better sleep, calmer mind, um, better uh, focus, sharper senses, etc. I did shed some hair while detoxing because as they were all chemical laden, I used to use a lot of chemical shampoos all my childhood and even through uh, my uh, 20s and 30s. So new hair grew in its place and it has been better year after year. Um, I have not been using any chemicals for my hair or body since the last few years and I don't have any hair issues like itchy scalp, split ends, uh, lifeless hair, wire-like hair, dandruff, any, any such issues. I had all these issues when I had, I was actually having all these problems. Yeah. And how about your daughter, Smita? Even your daughters uh, were struggling with a few skin issues. How did you take care of that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, my children also had similar issues with skin uh, and also rep respiratory issues. After I reversed my issues, I applied the same uh, techniques or same uh, tools on them and they have also reversed their issues. They were eight years and five years old then. Uh, with children, you see, uh, it's uh, challenging slightly, but I educated them on what is right and wrong and they slowly followed this path. Today, they are both healthy teenagers and they, may, they make their own uh, healthy food if I'm not able to make it for them. So they are quite grown up, actually. Great. And Smita, you've also been working with a lot of people, helping a lot of people uh, overcome their skin issues, hair issues. So could you share some of those uh, experiences, like which all skin and hair issues people come up right. with? Some of the things that are top of my mind are alopecia, uh, hair fall, dry hair, split hair, dandruff, and many such hair issues. Actually, hair issues are a major result of all the other internal skin problems. Skin issues such as eczema, psoriasis, severe fungal infections, unnamed skin rashes, and many more, which also come under the umbrella of skin issues because they're all, again, um, part of the skin. Okay, so uh, Smita, over to you, if you could uh, take us deeper into this journey of how to understand uh, the skin and hair issues. Sure, sure, Anji. So, um, see, although we've, we have so many brands uh, claiming to help in many of the skin and hair issues today, ultimately nothing really helps in addressing the root cause. So in this session, uh, in this course, basically, let's understand what are the causes and what does it take to get rid of these irritable skin conditions that are listed here and hence also discuss the solutions i did not specifically call out uh, hair issues because the scalp is also a part of the skin so once you start working with the scalp also in integration with the skin you'll you'll be addressing all the cause all the issues uh, together next uh, slide please See, the skin is the largest part of the largest organ in the body and it has many functions to perform. Of course, everybody knows about that. But then just to call it out, protection, right? It acts as a protective covering for the whole body. It acts as a barrier. First, protects our internal organs from external agents such as, let's say, poisonous chemicals, which may affect the blood, uh, including our lotions and many of these things. Most people think that skin is the first uh, body's first line of defense against injury or potential pathogens, but it's actually not our, um, it's not actually our uh, skin cells, but that acts as the front line of cavalry. It's, it's the skin's microbiome. There are, there are beautiful bacteria which lines our skin. They protect us from harmful pathogens. So I will also be talking about how to, uh, how the skin health can be addressed by also taking care of the symbiotic nature. Next one is a thermal regulation. So the, the skin also keeps the body temperature within a range so that all the biochemical processes in the body can happen seamlessly. Um, it has up to, let's say, 2.6 uh, million sweat glands, which play a major, major role in maintaining constant body temperature. If the body gets heated up, the pores open and allow perspiration. This cools the surface of the body. During the cold season, the pores close and they conserve body heat. Of course, there are other, um, let's say the liver is loaded with 
toxins and other things that the skin again comes as a secondary elimination organ which i'll again be talking about in the course um in, in terms of elimination along with the kidneys the lungs the skin is a major is also an organ of elimination like i said normally the toxins within the body are expelled out by the kidneys majorly in a chronic state of health when the body is not functioning optimally the secondary channels which is the skin it also is called upon to remove the toxins because there is always a backup system in the body in every single case the toxins gets expelled through the pores of the skin which show up as rashes eczema and any of the skin issues and hair issues so we'll have to first address the internal body and understand how to remove that and then slowly also understand how to manage these eliminations that just keep coming out through the skin so uh, it's more of a uh, we'll have to attack the problem from both the sides sense organs it's also a sense organ it perceives the surrounding environment through sensation temperature texture and and i mean it's one of the beautiful sensation organ actually so even if an ant is crawling we'll really know right so that's beautiful next uh, next slide please so uh, see normally the liver the lungs and the kidneys handle the job of filtering and elimination of the body waste but when the system is congested with excess toxic load or unwanted debris uh, that has not reached the exit the real exit the skin is called upon like i was saying to handle excuse me the skin is called upon to handle this waste elimination so as the body throws out these acidic wastes we are, we observe lots of breakouts which are given different names uh psoriasis lupus dermatitis boils acne it also causes a dull looking skin blotchy patches warts acne pigmentation and boils to name a few in reality these are just manifestations of eliminations happening through the skin due to excess toxic load in the body i mean it has to come out through some channel right so that is that is the way it comes out this is how we uh, we just have to understand oops Excuse me. Next slide, please. Yeah. Um. See here, Doctor Herbert Shen, uh, Shelton. He is what he is talking about here is that the body is more than the sum of its parts, and it works like a single unit. so if we tend to treat the skin as a separate unit we will never be able to achieve the results that we are expecting which is exactly what happens when we go to a uh, uh, derm dermatologists and other things right so they treat the skin as a separate organ so when they treat the skin as a separate organ unfortunately you'll just be patching up things from the outside but why did that even happen so that is what we are going to address in the board in the in this course see human skin basically consists of three layers uh the epidermis the dermis and the subcutaneous tissue so the epidermis is the outer layer which undergoes constant renewal which is what we see every 28 days all the cells are turned over as the most superficial cells are replaced with new ones in fact even when we sleep and get up many of these cells would be dead so that is why we take bath and other things in the morning so this is a natural a part of cleansing ourselves from the outset the turnover is much faster for infants and slows down as we age you might notice that the cuts and bruises disappear very quickly when we were very young and it lingers as a skin issue or it it will take a longer time to repair itself as the body ages so dealing with them quickly can actually help us heal faster this rate of recovery is largely impact it it largely depends on the lifestyle that we lead in fact i've been leading this lifestyle quite a long time and then um when i cut my hands and other things i don't i don't feel the pain at all uh, so i've had really bad issues uh, really bad cuts or accidents in the past and then i heal very very fast so that is one of the beautiful uh, experiences that we face i spoke about subtle issues right so these are some of the subtle issues that you are going to experience everything with time yeah next so the state of health of a person like i said is reflected in the state of the hair also so the hair gets its nutrition from inside like how plants get their nutrition from the soil 
uh, and whatever we need to put in the, inside the soil, uh, what if we have to see the plant grow healthily, we'll have to put it inside the soil or on top of the soil. Uh, things basically we'll have to address the soil quality. Similarly, which is exactly what we'll have to treat our hair also like. So there are living cells in the hair bulb which gets that nu nutrition from the blood to make a make the good healthy hair. Taking care of the body's needs, physiological, mental, emotional needs with the correct lifestyle results in superior quality of blood, which then feeds the cells of the hair. When the quality of blood supplying the nutrition is really good, the quality and color of the hair is also good. So, of course, it also depends on how you treat your hair, how, how beautifully you take care of your hair. And uh, if you treat your hair like a commodity and then just rub it and things like that, of course, you will see that reflection also, reflecting outside also. So treat it with love. So these are some of the things that is exactly why we are bringing natural care, natural care tips, uh, recipes, and every single thing in terms of lifestyle, how you'll have to handle your hair. So all these things we'll be speaking about in this course. Um, the, they say that the average person has 100,000 to 150,000 strands of hair. After the bone marrow, which is the fastest growing tissue, hair tissue is the next, but yet we don't see so much of hair. We see so much of hair issues in everybody. So when the hair is wet, it can also stretch an extra 30% like an elastic. So the human hair is stronger than a copper wire, they say, and then it... Um, provided it's healthy, of course, and otherwise if it's not healthy, they just tend to break, you see split ends and many of these things. So when the quality of the hair is good, it is really, um, I mean, it, I'm sure in there is this uh, movie that you saw, right, Rapunzel, where she takes her hair and then she, uh, uh, this this uh, boyfriend of hers really climbs up the stairs and all that, so castle. So, I mean, it, your, your hair is really that good. Next. So law of distribution is really beautiful. Um, it means that the body's innate intelligence distributes nutrition to the most important organs for survival. For example, the heart, the brain, the lungs, and such critical organs before addressing the needs of less important parts like nail, hair, and skin. You may not really feel sick, but your skin and hair can look sick because, of the, because most of the vitality may not be available for the non-essential parts. So excess hair fall can also mean that the body does not have enough reserves to address the needs of the hair. So in this course, I'll be talking about, even though there is this natural distribution where body constantly speaks, uh, takes care of these critical organs, how you can change your lifestyle so that even these non-critical organs also get the nutrition and so you can see the benefits as well. So it is very important to understand how the body works so that you can also make it to work for, uh, uh, for your convenience. Next. Why are skin and hair problems on the rise today? So see, people today are caught in a fast, chaotic, frenzied spiral of social media addictions, right? Always chasing money, power, success, lifestyle, some form of desire or the other where fast results are expected as opposed to a calmer, simple, simpler and contented living which our ancestors had. With this lifestyle, people started violating the fundamental laws of natural living such as let's say a few minutes to slow down and enjoy fresh air, sunlight, spend time in moving their body with some exercises, yoga, hydrating the body properly, understanding how, how hydration is important to our body, focusing on the right nutrition, and then um, social conflicts, very big thing, social conflicts. And lastly, one important factor is looking back on how you can keep yourself happy, what really keeps, yourself, keep, keeps you happy. Adding to this is the growing toxicity in the environment, Hence, the result of all this is what? The systemic acidosis or the collection of toxins within our body, which is basically expressed in various forms and some of them are classified as skin or hair issues. Which, I mean, any if, if, if the child is not really having a good environment to live in, he's always throwing tantrums. Similarly, even our body throws tantrums 
or it throws out in the form of eliminations, which um, which we have names for them. Tantrum one, tantrum two, scare issue one, skin issue two. So some things like that. Next. Why should we go chemical free? So see, if we ask ourselves, are we comfortable ingesting the chemicals in the products we use? I'm sure the answer would be definitely a no, because we don't recognize them as food, isn't it? So then why do we have to apply to our skin? Skin also breathes. When skin perspires uh, air in and out, and it sends the sweat out and all those things, it absorbs all the chemicals that we apply on it too, into the pores. It's one of the ways the body absorbs things inside. The nostrils, the mouth, the eyes, ears are all means of input into the body and skin is an organ for input and output. Hence, it's better to be wise on our choices. See, if you put some lotion or something like that, after some time, you can't see the lotion really, all that sticky things will not be there on the skin. Where did it go? It's not like some water or something that it, it's going to dry up in some time. They just went into the skin. So we'll have to understand where inside the skin, where inside the body are they all hiding? And how is it going to come out? Does the body even understand all these things? And how is it going to express out? all these things. So this is what we have to understand. Next. So are skin and hair problems hereditary? We do inherit uh, weaknesses from our uh, and toxins from our parents and ancestors, which do which does impact our wellness. However, the health issues that we are facing majorly are lifestyle induced. Of course, you may have in, of course, you may have borrowed some toxins from them. You, you, you uh, what do you say inherited some toxins from them. But then what you made after you were born is definitely your lifestyle induced and not hereditary. So if people are facing similar issues in the family, it's because they are just facing similar lifestyles, emotionally, physically, and uh, mentally. So, um, yeah. Next. So, um, this is a sort Okay. See, in this, um, ultimately, what we'll have to think about is it's our responsibility to keep our body and organs healthy. See, body is programmed to keep us only alive, as as far as I as far as I believe. Health is in our hands. Avoiding toxic chemicals can help in avoiding these toxins from getting into the like add it to the pile of the body, a pile of toxins inside the body, while we work on a long-term issue of planning to build good health. So in my opinion, health is inside out. It is never outside. And so you cannot patch it up from outside and expect the skin to be great. You'll have to always, add, you can start, you, I mean, if you have a real bad skin issue or hair issue, you, you can use some healthy alternatives and then start using it from outside. At least you don't have chemicals again going into the body. And at the same time, it's very important for you to use the natural distribution of the body to give the skin and the hair or the scalp what it needs for its growth. And then give the care that these things, that these organs need for their growth. That is when you'll see beauty that is coming from inside. So I also had a lot of, I mean, I had very good hair in the past, but over time when I was detoxing, I realized that they were all my hair texture itself was very different. But then after I started detoxing, they became very beautiful, silky and soft and all that. I had wire-like hair, but a lot of hair. But then those, the texture itself changed, the quality changed, everything changed, health changed, scalp also uh, scalp quality changed. So yeah, that's it, Anchal, from my side. Thanks, Smita. So uh, I think what uh, we've heard Smita explain is that skin and hair will reflect uh, what our internal health is and that is what she'll uh, help us learn more uh, in the program so uh, now i'll tell you a little bit about uh, what the program includes and how it will be conducted uh, so we'll be sharing uh, information about the diet that you should follow um, these will be whole foods plant-based um, nutrition and uh, Smita will help us learn some rules about uh, healthy eating as well as uh, we'll be sharing some recipes also with you on that. 
uh, we have a yoga session which is planned a beauty yoga session which is included uh, in the program this session is conducted by our uh, expert uh, ishita she's our in-house yoga expert and uh, in this session she will help you do exercises for uh, specific sites on your face uh, so that there is better circulation towards the face and scalp uh, she'll also help you learn about uh, how you can practice conscious breathing for better circulation towards the hair and face and there are also a few simple acupressure and uh, massage techniques that uh, she will be sharing with you we'll also be sharing a few simple uh, do it yourself recipes for skin and hair care products which you can uh, easily make at home so uh, this is a list of the uh, recipes that would be taught during the program um, out of these uh, there are two recipes uh, which will be shared via videos pre-recorded detailed videos which will give step-by-step -step instructions uh, on how these products have to be made uh, at home and the other uh, recipes would be text-based recipes so you can go through these recipes and if you have any queries uh, Smita will be able to answer those for you so uh, is this program for you and uh, you know a lot of times uh, we get participants who are primarily uh, participants are females but uh, there is there is no uh, uh limit on the gender here uh, this program is for women it is for men as well it is for all age groups so even if you have uh, kids in the house and you want to join this program for them uh, that is uh, also a good thing to do the program whatever smita teaches is equally uh, applicable to uh, everyone so if you're interested in enhancing uh, natural beauty and get out of all this confusion about different issues different kind of products if you want to see how you can um, become more beautiful and i think when i say become more beautiful it's not in just uh, terms of how you look but how you feel uh, i think that's the beauty uh, of this program and that's a constant feedback that we've uh, got from people who attend that they come out of the program feeling more beautiful and then they continue their journey to make uh, diet and lifestyle changes if you are someone who would like to interpret why your skin is reflecting a particular state of health or why your hair is reflecting a particular state of health uh, the program will be helpful uh, for you so here are a few testimonials uh, from our earlier participants. I'll read them out uh, quickly for you. And we are also sharing a document in the chat section. Uh, you can pick it up from there for more testimonials. So the first one by Deepthi says, the beauty care recipes shared for skin and hair by the WellCure team were all natural and chemical free. Smita attended to all the questions promptly and efficiently with her in-depth knowledge. Highly recommended program. The second one from Hema, it was an excellently curated online event. True to the vision of Elcure, the hosts went way beyond the scope of the program to answer queries from participants or providing useful resources. No effort left out to motivate each one on the group towards a natural life of wellness. Third one from Preeti, very informative, interactive, efficiently run program helped me get closer to nature by learning how to use things available around us to improve health and beauty. And the last one from Ruchi, it's a wonderful program, touches all aspects of beauty like food, food recipes, exercise, lifestyle, etc. The do-it-yourself natural beauty products are really great. Smita is very knowledgeable and helpful. So uh, if this excites you, if, if you would like to explore more for your natural beauty, we invite you to join the program. Okay, so this is how the program uh, will be conducted. Uh, all the content of the program will be posted on uh, the program WhatsApp group. Uh, and other than that, we also post this content on our e-learning website for which we give you access. So you can go through the program from any uh, of these two options that are convenient for you. All the live sessions will be done on Zoom. So every, there, every, every day there will be beauty posts which will come up 
uh, on the WhatsApp group and uh, on Wellcure e-learning. These beauty posts will include knowledge snippets. We do feel that it's important for you to understand why you are doing what you are doing. Uh, we'll be sharing tips on the diet and life lifestyle that you should follow. And also the uh, DIY product recipes will be shared through the same uh, medium. With Smita, you will have four sessions during the program. Uh, two sessions will be on Zoom, so they will be live video sessions. And there will be two sessions on WhatsApp. So we're on the WhatsApp group. Uh, we'll be opening the group. And for uh, two of these sessions, Smita will be there to answer uh, any queries that you have. So uh, we do have access uh, to Smita over uh, you know, the program tenure of five days and we must uh, utilize that to understand beauty from a nature cure perspective. So uh, ample scope for you to ask your queries there. That's the schedule. Uh, we start on Monday. Monday is when the program starts. Uh, it's a Monday to Friday program. So 15th to 19th of March. And uh, Monday will be the first uh, Zoom session live where Smita will be talking about uh, the food aspects for natural beauty. Uh, Tuesday, she'll be with us on WhatsApp live between 5 to 6 p.m. Wednesday, we'll be doing uh, yoga, beauty yoga with Ishita. Thursday, again, we'll be with Smita on WhatsApp live. And on Friday, the last day of the program, uh, we'll do the second uh, live Zoom session with Smita, where she'll be talking about the non-food uh, aspects of becoming beautiful inside out. So uh, the program is priced at 899 uh, rupees, which is the early bird price uh, applicable till 6 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. So do avail of the early bird price if you're interested to uh, book the program and of course registrations are open post that as well the program starts on Monday so you can register uh, anytime before that so I'm going to leave the screen on for those of you who would like to register all details are mentioned over here you can scan the QR code uh, from your device and make the payment if you want to use uh, Paytm or Jeep option those are also mentioned on the screen so we'll now take up a few questions from you all. If you have any questions regarding uh, the program, then you can put those questions in the chat section and uh, we'll probably spend 15 minutes or so to answer those questions. So Smita, I'll be reading out uh, okay. the questions for you one by one and you can keep uh, answering. Okay, let me just scroll through. Okay, Ranjita is saying, uh, what is WhatsApp live session like? So Ranjita, WhatsApp live session means uh, uh, like during the time that I mentioned, Smita will be available on WhatsApp during that time. So whatever questions you want to ask, you can ask them there. So the same way like you chat uh, on WhatsApp, uh, you chat here also in the WhatsApp group. So it's just that the time uh, when Smita will be available is uh, what I meant to mention. Uh, next question, 6 to 7 p.m. is suitable for me, for which I have enrolled. I wish that the WhatsApp sessions are also from 6 to 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, Smita, is that something we can... Um, sorry? Okay. 6 to 7? Yeah. Like, can we shift the WhatsApp sessions also to 6 to 7? Like, keep it consistent? Sure. I think that should be fine. That should be fine. Okay. So, Imshubra, we'll do that change. We'll do 6 to 7 every day. So, whether it is Smita's a session on zoom or on whatsapp or ishita session for yoga i think let's keep the same time six to seven for uh, everyone to be comfortable okay uh, varsha is saying regarding pigmentation there's another question on dry hair uh smita if you want to address those briefly the pigmentation uh first thing is i would suggest that you uh, follow the healthy routine, the nutrition and other routine that we speak about here. And then secondly, uh, Ishita will also be speaking about face yoga that will also improve the uh, pigment. I mean, it will start moving the pigmentation or the deposits from under the skin. So when you start doing a lot of face yoga, so these two things can really help in 
uh, addressing the pigmentations and not just pigmentation, the quality of the face or well, the skin, wherever you're looking at. Uh, it, it, will, it will not go overnight. Uh, it is not like a medicine. So it will take some time because uh, the reason why you have pigmentation inside is because it has, it has come from inside. So if there is a lot more inside, it will continue to be in that place. So the more you continue to do, the more uh, they will reduce. Okay. Next question. Uh, okay. So one person has asked remedy for unwanted hair growth tips for brides. Uh, I would request if you could uh, get these questions answered by way of joining the program because um, the program will give you ample understanding of how to uh, look at these issues from a natural perspective. Uh, RT is asking, will recordings be available? Yeah, all recordings will be um, available and all content will be put up on the e-learning website. So if you're not able to attend, uh, you can always uh, see the recordings and content on our e-learning website there also there is a comment section actually so even if you're not able to uh, communicate with smita during the whatsapp sessions you can leave a comment uh, on our e-learning website anytime and um, you will get a response over there okay uh, yeah, so some of you have already registered for the program. Uh, the program starts on Monday. So for those of you who have paid and registered, you don't have to do anything else. Uh, you're already on the program. So for those of you who have not paid, this is just a free introductory session to explain about the program. So for those of you who haven't paid and want to be on the program, uh, you need to pay so that you can uh, start off from Monday. Can we get rid of damaged skin after the program or practice? Yes, yes, absolutely. See, if you haven't, if you've not been born with that damaged skin, so definitely you can uh, recover that skin. Deepthi saying, can curly hair become straight with natural remedies? If that's your natural uh, hair, right? Uh, I don't think you should be tampering with that. Uh, but what I can say is typically curly hair tends to really get knotted and give you a hard time. But when you start using natural hair care, what will happen is your tangles will start, uh, stop uh, happening. It will still be smooth. And even though it is curly, it will not be tangled and it will not give you a hard time. This is from this is the feedback that we've got from the previous participants. Can scalp psoriasis be cured through this program? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Can you please uh, share one tip both on skin and hair today to know how the sessions will be? Skin tip, I would say that uh, skin definitely needs a lot of hydration. And then we'll be giving you a lot of information on why hydration how you'll have to hydrate, when you'll have to hydrate, and many of these things, because skin really needs that hydration to glow. And second thing is, of course, Ishita will be speaking about a lot of uh, yoga for the face, uh, if, if you're speaking about the face. So when it comes to the, that, so that is about skin care. When it comes to hair care, you, we'll also be teaching about how to reduce the acidity that constantly accumulates in the hair bulbs and also give that hair the nutrition that you need uh, and how to stop using chemicals and bring in natural remedies from outside how to address these uh, acidic acids from going inside and then from how to reduce the how to increase the alkalinity from inside so we'll be talking about that and also helping you with recipes and also helping with the practicing of taking care i'm looking for relief from dandruff will it be helpful Absolutely. Dandruff is also a problem that uh, that will go away like any other hair issue. Because that is again because of acidity in the body. If you if you have dry skin on, if you have dry and itchy skin on the other parts of the body, so dandruff is a part of uh, that problem. Please suggest something for open pores. Yeah, I think we've uh, when there are lots of op when you feel that there are lots of open pores, it means that the body is constantly wanting to send out things outside. So when you reduce the toxicity in the body, uh, naturally 
you will uh, see a lot of difference in the temperature uh, inside the body uh, the liver will not be heated so much and all those things so then the pores will automatically close by themselves so uh, i see a lot of questions about uh, specific hair and uh, skin issues uh, so there is one there, there are a lot of questions on hair fall hair growth and how the a uh, program will help that uh, how can hair volume be increased so smita maybe if you could just club these uh, questions and answer together see most of these issues again are all lifestyle related and there is no uh, let's say overnight solutions for any of these things in fact the very reason we have all these problems is because we go around shopping for overnight solutions so now it is time if you really want changes on all these issues it's time for you to stop shopping and then start looking at solutions that the body can give you the body is one of the best uh, solution creators that you already have you just don't know how to go inside so now when you depend on your body and you give the body the nutrition it needs it it has all the solutions for all your problems that is what we are here to teach it's not a generic uh makeup uh, teaching program or something like that so uh, i i'll actually probably just go back to one of the uh, earlier slides and leave it on for all to read because i think this uh, slide captures the uh, essence of the program that uh, you know in the long term you have to focus on building a healthy diet and lifestyle if you really want to take care of your skin and hair issues irrespective of what you call them uh, and in the short term you have to move away from uh, chemicals based products to non chemicals based simpler products and some of these you can uh, do at home so through the program smita helps you to make uh that journey for the short term as well as the long term so questions on dry skin how to reduce uh dryness this will all get uh, covered in the long term measures that uh smita will share an interesting question is uh, due to thyroid i lost my hair from the roots can this program help me regrow hair absolutely in fact if you start following this hair for a uh, hair uh, care routine or the health tips that we share here in fact you can you'll be also able to address your own thyroid issues so the reason why you have all these other related symptoms um is because of the internal health so thyroid problem will also be addressed along with all these other problems so definitely your hair issues can be resolved so it's we are not it's not like what we teach here is very specific to a one particular problem no when it comes to holistic health we are going to address what why uh, why the what the body needs so when you go to addressing what the body needs it will automatically change everything that is misaligned it will start aligning everything in place when alignment naturally comes all the issues that are related which are bothering you will automatically go away and each issue takes maybe one takes uh, maybe a month one might take four months one might take six months but everything depends on how consistent you are after you paid for this course use that be consistent be persistent and then you do it you'll definitely find uh, remedies solutions uh next one any hair packs for gray hair so yeah we do have a diy recipe for uh, gray hair which we'll be sharing how much time program will be available on e learning platform so we know it will be available for 3 months uh, 90 days uh okay uh if i think i don't have gp and atm i want to join the session any other mode of payment so uh, ekta will share on uh, the zoom chat the other mode of payment you can pay from there you can pay online uh, so we'll share that uh, on the chat session so janvi if you could just share that the link for uh, paying okay then uh, moving on to the next question sorry i my window closed and i have to scroll up on the chats again give me a minute yeah for dark circles any remedy in the workshop the answer is yes we will be talking about that um if we are not able to attend the program any alternative so savita since all the 
recordings and all the content is put up on our e-learning website as well. You can uh, attend it at any time of your comfort. All this will be available to you over the next three months. So even if you can't come for the live uh, Zoom sessions or the live WhatsApp sessions, you can access all the content on the e-learning website. We'll give you a login ID and password. So you can attend there anytime uh, you want. Leave a comment there. Uh, if you have a question and uh, Smita will be able to respond to you. Uh, Himshubra is saying, is facial covered uh, in the course? So no, Himshubra, facial is not covered in the course. No, in fact, uh, the, the, the beauty products that we share here and uh, the face yoga that Ishita and all shares, right? In fact, you can do your own facial, right? I'm sure that will really help. It, it, it actually acts like that. Uh, any remedy for fine lines? So Ujjani will be discussing that, uh, that when the program is on. I hope this program is also for 45, someone who's 45 years of age. It is definitely for uh, someone who's for 45. Actually with women, you know, we think that the moment we are post 40, uh, our skin is supposed to be bad. Uh, by the way, Smita, can you share your age? See, I'm 43. <laughs> okay, so we have loads of inspiration there. In fact, in the first session, uh, we will be sharing a video of a lady. I don't remember her age, but she's definitely 60 plus. So she'll be sharing her uh, experience of how uh, going the natural way has, uh, you know, helped her uh, hair and skin. So yeah, that will be interesting. Uh, will you share diet plan also in this program? Yes, we will be sharing a diet chart. Uh, any remedy for puffy eyes? It will be discussed during the program. Uh, will you also help us with detox drinks or methods? So yeah, in the first session when we talk about foods, that will include uh, foods that will help you detox as well. Uh, after registration with payment, will we be getting a uh, notification? So, Savita, if you are play, paying on GPay, Paytm, then uh, the procedure has been mentioned below. Uh, just send a screenshot along with your name, email, uh, and phone number to the same number. Uh, if you are paying by any other mode, then uh, give us some time. We'll be able to confirm it to you uh, tomorrow. We'll send you a confirmation and you'll be also added on to the uh, WhatsApp group of the program. Uh, Minu, program validity is very little. Please give us for six months. So Minu, that's that's a standard uh, policy at WellCure. Uh, programs are available for three months. Uh, are the DIYs different from Sunmeet's program? Uh, yes, they're different. Let me just put that slide back so that you can see for yourself. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so you can compare it with any other program that you may have done. Uh, will you give us recipes for detox drinks and probiotic uh, drinks? So we will be giving you recipes on healthy diet that will include uh, some drinks as well. It may not necessarily be probiotic uh, drinks and things like that. But And as far as detox drinks are concerned, uh, uh, Smita, would you like to talk a little bit about these so-called detox drinks? Um, see, many of these uh, drinks that we speak about are all natural. They are not uh, fermented. As much as possible, we don't use fermented products um, for detoxing. Uh, so at least in Nature Cure, we believe that probiotics are not really necessary for our body, especially when it comes to detoxing. Uh, and I'll discuss why and what and other things when during the course of the program, because it's going to be really haphazard if I start just talking about probiotics like this. But we, we will be majorly sticking to natural foods that are alive, fruits, vegetables, greens, and any drinks that are made out of these things. And all the recipes will be made available. Okay. Uh, next few questions. Uh, any creams don't suit as I get pus filled pimples? How can we get rid? Another question is how can we get rid of uh, itching due to scabies from uh, home remedies? The question that we'll have to ask is why do I have pimples? Not how can I patch it up with something? 
you, you i mean it's you have plenty of care products available in the market but it may not really help you because you've not addressed the root cause so we, this program is specifically designed to address root causes first and like kanchil also spoke about in one of the slides uh, the long term versus the short term long term is your pimples and scabies short term is what you can in the you uh, in the interim use for all those problems so that is what we'll have to be talking about in this program uh, another comment is from someone that i have just turned 50 Uh, so yeah the program is absolutely for you there is there is no age bar uh, really and i'm sure you will get lot of uh, uh, inputs over the five days of the program to uh, better your skin and you know just take this thing out of your mind that uh, this is my age and therefore this is the skin i'm expected to have in fact um, the video we share uh, in the first session is about reverse aging so that will help you okay uh next one beauty recipes can be prepared ourselves or it should be purchased um see some of the recipes that we teach here are going to be prepared at home with the with the things that you're going to find in the kitchen uh, but uh, some of the recipes like uh, if you have to make some dry ingredients like your uh, dry hair bath powder and all that for that you'll need some things that you may have to buy from amazon or in your piece places which we will give you a list and then you can think okay you you may not want to make all 17 on day 1 so recipes will be available with you so uh, you can just pick few things that you want to do at least in that one week and then start trying out and uh, yeah that that you you can think like that uh next one moisturizer is for face only or whole body i hope to see more cream or gel for my combination skin um like i said the one which we provide is for the whole body it is not just for the face or anything like that and plus mita you will be able to suggest options of maybe changing the ingredients based on skin type and all of that yeah yeah, yeah. we will be customizing the recipe based on your skin type and and of course telling you that on chat or whatever will this program help to erase wrinkles like on forehead yes we will be teaching many of these things like dark circles wrinkles it's all lifestyle related so again the more care you bring into yourself based on whatever we teach you will see the results so sita just to clarify um, you know what what we are saying here is uh, that you will learn all these things over a five uh, day period uh, with smita uh, for how long should this uh, you know diet and lifestyle be uh, followed consistently because consistency is very very uh, key you know so it's not that things are suddenly going to change in five days or overnight so um what's what's probably a decent time frame to look at to notice visible a decent a decent time would be 6 months easily because uh, i mean some there are some issues that you will uh, that are, there are some uh, things like let's say hair fall reduction or um, quality of the skin in fact more than the skin and the hair you will see a lot of changes in the internal health like your energy and your gut gut issues becoming better many of the internal issues like i spoke about this law of distribution right so the internals will be fixed first because if the if if your nutrition has to reach the skin and the hair it has to go through the blood so the blood has to start getting cleaned up first so you will see a lot of other changes in the next first 3 months even before you see a lot of uh, health uh, changes in the skin and the thing but what you will definitely notice is that there are lots of itching on the skin you will see a lot of relief there you may not uh, from a hair po- hair care perspective uh, skin first gets better more than the hair first in my opinion okay uh, next one uh, there's a question that uh, do you cover facial in any other program want to learn that too facial well see uh, when you go to a beauty parlor they typically use um, maybe some herbal care products or some chemicals and then they start 
using face yoga techniques only to massage your face and that is called facial in the past it was called facial these days everything is available everywhere there's internet and all that so everybody is learning everything so what ishita will be teaching you is many of these how to how to basically massage your face on your let's say forehead or around the eyes and or let's say the skin and everything in fact in facial you're getting it done through somebody else but what we will be teaching you here is you can do it on by yourself using some um, very good oils uh, that uh, she will recommend during the course so it's it's very simple actually you don't really need a lot of um beauty care products for many of these things because these days uh, so much is available information is so much available that things are very simple it doesn't have to be complex at all health is not complex even face beauty is not complex we have just made it complex because there's a lot of uh, opportunity that people see in making money so i personally believe that you can do anything yourself in my opinion i'm i'm, I'm big time on doing everything diy mm -hmm. so i would definitely say that you can do it yourself so i see some questions on foot care and uh, stretch marks foot care to definitely yeah i can share my own personal experience uh stretch marks needs a lot of exercises uh, it also needs some amount of skin massaging and all that so we will be teaching some of that there this in the uh, course savita is asking in 6 months is that it shouldn't be missed a single day so savita it's not like that it's a change in uh the way you approach your health from a diet and lifestyle uh, perspective so as much as you can do uh be on the path and when you start noticing changes uh in your skin in your hair it will keep you motivating uh to do more and more absolutely that's a journey that you can take for yourself uh after the course how can we clarify any doubts while preparing recipes or any other issues Uh, so pravina like i mentioned all uh, the recordings all the product uh, all the content of the program will be put up on our e learning uh, website where you have access for 90 days so anything you want to clarify you can leave a comment uh, over there in fact in the first session we'll probably do a demo also how you can access the e learning site and how it works so you leave a comment over there and uh, smita will get back to you okay so last point last comment uh, from him shubhra thank you so much smita you are inspiring mm -hmm. thank you anchal thank, thank you thank you so much anchal okay so uh, i have completed the questions pravina is saying i have done uh, the payment richa is saying how long this session uh, be going to well we are almost concluding this uh, session richa but the program starts Uh, on monday program is from monday to friday so uh, if you've joined in late you can uh, go back and uh, go through the recording of today's session but what is key is that the early bird uh, is still tomorrow 6 pm so uh, if you would like to avail that do register for the program uh, soon of course registrations will be open till monday when we start the program a uh, question on dry hair uh, we've already spoken about that and we'll discuss more about that in the session now okay so i think uh, smita we are good to conclude uh, today's session so thank you so much for uh, answering uh, all questions with a lot of uh, patience and for those of you who who already uh, registered we'll be adding you to the whatsapp group tomorrow um and others as well uh, who register for the program so uh, let's get started with this amazing journey with smita from monday thank you so much everyone looking forward to see all of you there thank you everyone for being here good night bye bye good night <laughs>